Hey there, this is Bill Pesco Salito, and I'm coming to you from my home office in Frisco, Texas. And this is actually day five of my 30 day video challenge. And today I want to talk with you about something that just the other morning I spoke about on the MLSP wake up call. Now, if you're not familiar with My Lead System Pro or MLSP, it is a uh, lead generation system, attraction marketing system. Michelle and I have used it for over two years now. We get like, you know, 60 to 80 leads every day. Uh, it's huge as far as helping us grow our business. Um, but if you're not familiar, they have a, a wake up call every single day. And it's like a morning motivation, get you going, fired up, uh, training, you know, kind of combo wake up call. And on this wake up call the other morning, I spoke about two things. Um, sacrifice and commitment. And I want to talk with you a little bit now about what I shared the other day. So sacrifice and commitment. Now, I want to share with you a quick story about this past weekend. Uh, it was Super Bowl weekend and Super Bowl Sunday, as you all know. And um, coincidentally, with our primary business, we have a big event coming up in Dallas this weekend right? Just completely coincidentally. Huge events where there's going to be a lot of announcements and training and so forth. So Michelle and I created for ourselves uh, an artificial deadline, so to speak, an artificial sense of urgency to try and get as many people on board into our business so that they would have a chance and the opportunity to attend this event, this live event, this live training, because it would help it would just be awesome. It would help kickstart their business, uh, get them in the right frame of mind, get them trained, meet the leaders of the company, meet the owners, all good stuff. So we said, what do we need to do to get people you know, this week into our business so they could attend this weekend? Well, as you probably know, it takes a little bit of time to get someone, you know, there's a funnel. You got to get them into the funnel, into the process. Uh, you've got to speak with them and show them a presentation and establish a relationship and get to know them and what they're looking for before you can just close them into your business. It just doesn't happen in a day, right? So what that meant for us is that on Saturday, we worked our tails off. Uh, Michelle did a lot of marketing stuff. Specifically, I called about 20 or 30 people, um, which resulted in me sending out five presentations and scheduling five follow-ups for Monday and Tuesday. Now, Sunday came around, Super Bowl Sunday, and we actually did some of the same. Uh, Michelle did a lot of marketing stuff. I made a lot of calls, um, sent out about seven or eight presentations, which also led to uh, five scheduled follow-ups, one of which was actually during halftime of the Super Bowl. Right, So while Beyonce was dancing and shaking her booty and singing, I was following up with this person in regards to our opportunity. So then let's fast forward to Monday. We did a big webinar Monday night, again, for the same reason. And that resulted in me talking to a bunch of people after the fact. So basically from like 7 o'clock until 10 o'clock at night, I was either in this webinar or on the phone with people. Now, that's why I want to talk with you about sacrifice. Now, uh, do I plan on for the rest of my life calling people on the weekends and working on the weekends and uh, working from a 7 o'clock at night to 10 o'clock at night on a Monday? No, I don't plan on doing that for the rest of my life. Trust me. Uh, I certainly don't plan on Super Bowl Sunday and, and calling people during the Super Bowl at halftime to grow our business. But for now, as we are in major growth and acquisition mode of our business, I'm willing to sacrifice. Uh, I'm willing to sacrifice the weekend. We worked a lot on a Saturday and on Super Bowl Sunday. I was willing to sacrifice watching Beyonce do her halftime show, which in hindsight wasn't really that big a sacrifice. But nonetheless, I think you get the point. Uh, Monday nights, for example, uh, from 7 to 10 o'clock at night, typically our family time. I sacrificed it because it was to grow our business. And I'm sharing this with you because I believe that it's this kind of sacrifice that's required and this kind of commitment to your business, uh, to, to grow your business, that is required. If you want to really grow, if you want to have success, if you want to get to a point where in three or four or five years, you're making 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 grand a month in residual income, right? Passive residual income. It's going to take sacrifices like what I just shared with you and a, and a commitment to, to get there if you want to get to that point. Now, if you're not willing to make very many sacrifices or if you're not willing to commit to very much, 
your results will reflect that, right? You will have uh, minimum results, maybe little, maybe some. Maybe you'll make some money here and there, right? Not a, not a bad thing. But if you really want to succeed, if you really want to be able to quit your job, right? Just quit your job. If you really want to be able to just do pretty much whatever you want, whenever you want. If you really want to get the time freedom and a, and a passive residual income where you can just kick back, then it sacrifices now, real sacrifices, sacrificing family time, sacrificing weekend time, sacrificing Super Bowl time, right? This kind of sacrifice is what's going to get you to where you want to be. And it takes a serious commitment in order to, to be willing to, to, to make those sacrifices. You got to commit to this like more like more than anything you've ever committed to ever, right? Now, the results of, of the sacrifices that we made, so through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and here we are now Wednesday, we have since enrolled six new people into our business. Uh, most of those will end up attending this event, this live event, and benefiting from it. So we, in essence, we accomplished what we set out to do, but it wasn't without the sacrifice and the commitment to, to follow through with what we'd laid out. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't have happened. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this resonates with you. I hope you can see that sometimes it, it takes pain to, it takes some pain to, to get the pleasure, right? So sacrifice and commitment, write it down, ask yourself what you're willing to sacrifice and how far are you willing to commit, right? I want you to write that down right now and, and be brutally honest with yourself because your results that you end up getting will be a reflection of your sacrifice and your commitment now. So I hope this made sense. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.